The study of writing transfer is made very rich by all of the perspectives and the theories that uh, writing and rhetoric and composition bring to it. The implications of writing transfer really are salient for the whole ecology of higher education. And I think that the future of writing transfer will really, uh, I think the future of writing transfer research will really benefit from a broader and uh, richer engagement with the rest, with many other forces that are uh, taking place in higher education. We know from the National Research Council studies, we know from Ann Beaufort's work, um, uh, we know from uh, Perkins and Solomon, we know from Beach, we know from, uh, you know, really any number, both people in writing studies and people in the uh, literature more generally, that reflection um, is, is important. Um, now, you would think that that was a claim. And on the one hand, sure, it's a claim. On the other hand, what do we mean by the word reflection? And what do we mean by important? Okay, um, good luck. <laughs> That's, we have now, <laughs> with, the, with those two questions, opened the door to an entire cottage industry. Now, I noticed at the conference here, there's a lot of work on reflection. Um, I know there's a lot of work on reflection around the world. I'm contributing to a, a collection right now, actually, that's being edited by Mary Ryan in Australia, where they're doing really interesting work on reflection that almost no one here has heard of. So, so how we define it. I have a slide that I use in some workshops that's got 13 definitions of reflection. And that I don't think that that's um, comprehensive. I, it begins to sample the field. So what do we mean? How do we operationalize it? At what point do we introduce it? My own theory is that we need a reflective curriculum and that there are some people who are trying to develop that now, but we don't, we don't, we don't really have a language for that yet. We need to have a language. We need to know what those activities are. We need to know what the outcomes are. Um, uh, so there's just all kinds of um, work that needs to be done in that area. And I think if, if we could only do those two things, we'd be better off than we are now. People that are researching in sort of pockets, so what transfers from A to B or this to that or one context to another. But I think there's probably going to be some um, major through lines between, you know, for example, first year comp through to workplace writing. And I don't think a lot of us are focused on that long of a, of a time frame, say. That's probably, that's probably the next thing that we want to start thinking about is that longer term thing. And we're going to have to design our research then to be really longitudinal instead of a couple of years. I think we're all sort of circling around what it means to have transfer research and means to go from one context to another, but I think we really need to start thinking about context to context to context and on from there. Directions I'd like to see writing studies research take with regard to transfer really have to do with um, continuing some of the work that's gone on already, and that is looking at how students move among different contexts for writing but looking at that movement through a variety of lenses. We've started to do that, of course, and there's lots of good examples in the field of that, um, but I'd like to see how other faculty and other disciplines look at that movement as well and how they think about that in their own disciplines or communities of practice. And that, of course, would have to do with work outside of the academy as well. I think probably also genre theory, genre, the application of genre theory to our understanding of transition. Uh, because there's a good deal of work going on in genre theory and we need to understand what dimensions of tasks and uh, what, what dimensions of the kinds of writing that students are doing uh, are we considering when we, when, we, uh, when we look at their transitions from not just one context to another but types of writing that they may be unfamiliar with. And this is interesting for me from a sort of de teacher development perspective because I think that a lot of teachers are not aware of the struggles that students need to go through as they move into an advanced history course or a biology course where they've never seen the kinds of genres that, they're, that are expected uh, there for them to write. I think thinking about, for example, you know, what are the implications of writing transfer for uh, the increasing need for the integration of education as we watch integration as we watch uh, student learning and education become increasingly disintegrated and disconnected and taking place online and in multiple institutions, what is it that binds that together? 
Well, I think the insights that writing transfer research has started to develop uh, can bring a great deal to that question of how is it that we can continue to see education as a whole greater than the sum of the parts, to understand skills and dispositions as needing essentially to transfer across these various disconnected boundaries. Um, so one can see a whole range of places in higher education that writing transfer research needs to look at. There's some great work looking at writing in disciplines other than writing and thinking in disciplines other than writing. And I, I think that the more we can do of that, the better we are able to really build constructive bridges across our discipline and other disciplines. One of the things, I don't know if this is a good place to throw this in, but I will. One of the things I've thought about a lot through the Elon research that I've conducted is that using this frame of threshold concepts, concepts critical for epistemological participation within disciplines, in writing studies we're in a really um, privileged position that is sometimes also vexed. There are threshold concepts of writing studies as a discipline, there are threshold concepts of writing in learning, and there are threshold concepts of teaching, and they all come together in our discipline. The other, um, so that's, it's great because the research that we do overlaps in so many ways with these other areas in which writing circulates. The other real um, benefit and sometimes um, challenge of our discipline is that in writing studies, we study the way that writing circulates, is produced, distributed, you know, consumed, distributed, valued within different communities. And when we study that, it always benefits the places where we study. And so we can build these great bridges, which is really beneficial. It's also sometimes a challenge when people say, well, what do you do in writing studies? It always helps me. Your research is so helpful for me, which is great, but it's also our research. Another thing that I think would be helpful as we're thinking about the future of research and transfer is to think about what we could do different methodologically in terms of sites of research and in terms of, of methods, what we're actually looking at. Um, I know for myself, uh, I was in, when I, I did my research, I was in the classroom with students a lot, and, and that helped, watching talk unfold. Um, but I drew a lot on the papers when they were done, and my retrospective interviews with writers when they were done. And I think that if we can push ourselves to look at, at different sites of transfer in the universities or and beyond the university. Personally, I'm interested in thinking about, you know, I direct a writing center, so I'm interested in thinking about how talk in a writing center unfolds. And that interests me for two reasons. One, um, it gives us a different kind of location to look at. Um, but two, it puts us at a different point in the writing process. So that um, instead of talking with a writer about the paper when it's done, talking about the Talking with a writer not so much as an interviewer, but as a conversational partner who's genuinely involved in a conversation about this piece of writing in progress. I think that we could hear things, we could learn things about what's going on for writers when they're in the midst of it that they might not be able to articulate for us when they're at the end of it. So thinking methodologically about other places and other moments where we could look at writing in process. We need to continue the research we're doing, uh, but we need to track students' progress, not just in terms of writing ability, but in terms of their own experiences. I don't think there's nearly enough research being done on writing transfer research on online learning, and the movement back and forth between online and face-to-face -face spaces or hybrid spaces. Um, as massive online education explodes, uh, we know almost nothing about what kinds of literacies <laughs> Um, are needed to succeed there in what ways um, self-paced and massive education can foster different kinds of literacies. Um, so writing transfer research needs to have a voice and needs to enter into that arena um, with really important questions and, and be able to start gathering evidence to make a case for a certain kind of scaffolding, a certain kind of instruction. So those are a couple of areas I think are really important uh, for writing transfer research to grow and expand.